Hey, what is up you guys and welcome to this episode of Eddie's Customs and Restorations. Today we have a 1959 Chevrolet Impala and it doesn't have a brake pedal, but I have it right here in my hand. You're probably wondering how in the world do you put this thing on because you got this flat piece on the bottom and it just kind of doesn't make sense, right? So if you look at the back of the pedal, it looks like something goes in these two little spots, right? Well, that's exactly right. There's two little balls down there that are attached to a little bracket that is actually underneath this carpet. Uh, so I can't pull that out right now, but I'll show you a photo right up here and kind of showing you the way that little bracket looks like. But pretty much you got those little ball deals right there. And what you're gonna do with this part, you're just gonna fold it up a little bit. That's all you're gonna do. And then you're gonna align the two little balls right here and you're simply gonna pop it in and of course this other part right here all that does is it rides right here on this section that's all it does so you're gonna position and I wish I could show you back here I don't think I can well maybe I can actually so yeah you're gonna line that one up on that side and then you're gonna align the same one on, on this side as well. And it's all just gonna line up and pop in like that. And now it's attached. So it's pretty much the same process for a lot of other GM vehicles. And I'll share a list on the description as far as to which other vehicles share the same pedal and install procedure. So as always, if you found value in this video, please hit the like button so that it lets YouTube know that this is good content. And consider subscribing for more automotive videos. Until next time, y'all be safe.